Greetings, I'm Professor Park chang Ju. Today I'm going to talk about immediate implant placement after extraction. Immediate implant placement. This is a 54-year-old male patient. The patient has been receiving implant treatment as well as maintenance from me. The patient came in with fractured crown in number 14. Today, if you look at this number 14, there is periapical lesion. I'm going to extract the tooth and place implant immediately. In the case of first the premolar, it's an aesthetic zone because it is shown when the patient smiles. You need to consider bone graft or gap bone graft in addition to placing the implant. Things to note in today's surgery, there are three. First, observe how I extract the tooth slowly. I will use peritomy and elevate it very cautiously so that adjacent bone is not disturbed. Second, immediate implant placement. Third, between the implant body and buccal bone, the gap in between, I'm not just going to leave it there, but I'm going to use bone graft to do gap bone grafting. Please enjoy the surgery clip. ハクソリがなんか濡れじゃないですかね。ハクソリなんですよね。
선생님 살짝 다물어 보세요. 아이 보세요. 모시고요. 벅칼석수 됐다. 이렇게 되면 5, 3일 정도로 맞춘 것 같아. Did you enjoy it? I tried my best to do a traumatic extraction. I did peritomy and elevation and did luxation in multiple direction. This is post-op panoramic image. Extraction has been done well. Implant body is observed here. I personally prefer 8.5 the most. In the case of immediate implant placement case, it needs to engage 2 to 3 millimeters apically for initial stability. And I prefer long implant in such cases. This is 10 millimeter implant. As you have observed, the more you engage, insertion torque increases, and I was able to connect healing abutment. Let's look at the bone graft. Let's look at CT. This is a pre-op CT. There is periapical lesion a little bit. This is post-op comb beam CT. There is engagement in apical area, and fixture also engaged the palatal wall, and 
bone graft is done nicely. A lot of people ask about immediate implant placement. Doing a traumatic tooth extraction, flapless implant placement, and doing gap bone graft between implant and labial plate. I think this would be the, one of the most frequent treatment you provide these days. When you do immediate implant placement, I hope you review my case once again. I hope this was a lot of help. Thank you for watching.